Bernie, moving on to another topic, what about individuals with special needs? What are the issues involved? Well, you're talking about a growing segment of the population. Uh, I think according to the CDC, approximately one in 70 now children are born with um, some type of autism or on the autism spectrum. Uh, and uh, we don't know where this is coming from or what's causing it, or maybe there's just better diagnosis now. Some people think it's due to vaccinations, but that's just one um, type of special needs. Uh, there's a whole host of others, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, developmental disabilities, and um, for parents and other relatives uh, of individuals with special needs, that really ups the ante when you're talking about estate planning, because it's one thing to not do the proper job in estate planning when you have somebody who can take care of themselves. When you have somebody who can't um, take care of themselves, can't fend for themselves, somebody who might not ever speak, somebody who may never hold a job, uh, you have an added level of responsibility and it's really incumbent upon the CPA to make sure that those clients who have family members with special needs do take action and they don't become the client with the deer in the headlight approach. And the only way you're going to find out about this is by asking the question. Uh, CPAs need to make sure they have a client questionnaire that asks the appropriate questions, including are any of your children or loved ones <coughs> not able to take care of themselves? Do they have special needs? Do they have any types of issues that we need to be aware of? of? Because there are ways that you can set up um, trusts for uh, individuals that will not disqualify them from receiving the much needed government health care uh, that they would otherwise be entitled to, where if you didn't set up a trust, you could be leaving them part of your inheritance and they would be kicked off Medicaid or SSI or some other uh, means-tested government program uh, that is really critical to their daily uh, existence. It may pay for their health care, it may pay for their um, residential group home, it may pay for other things that are uh, really important. Um, so dealing with the special needs situation uh, really requires the CPA to ask the next question.